The vocabulary word of this video is concatenation, as the state of being linked together as in a chain union in a linked series. So, what does this have to do with anything? Uh, this is what I was speaking to in my introductory video about learning the vocabulary. Concatenation is coming back here to our example, something like first name and uh, our last name equals, you know, casting. And this is a string that we're setting here in both variables, uh, scripting. So now here I can say first name, all right? And we're gonna go here, you can see our title sample. Uh, we'll refresh, and we'll have the first name. And if we want the last name, It's not going to work. It's actually, there should be an error here. Um, an unexpected identifier. So we need to concaten concatenate uh, both of these first and last names. So we can say var full name equals first name. And in JavaScript, concatenating, you can do a plus sign like this plus last name. So here, then we'll go and we'll say full name. As you can see, they're together, and you're like, well, I kind of want to space that out to make it look nicer. So we're going to concatenate a string into our two variables, and we'll literally add a space there. And uh, we'll refresh. And as you see, it says script casting. So why didn't I just do this here? could have just done it here and you get the same result why didn't I do that there it's because in my script later on you know as I as I'm building this script I might need a first name and I might need last name I also might need a full name but I don't want to keep typing this every time I go ahead and and want to use the full name so I'll just make a variable that will store my variable of the first name the space and then the last name because in the future if I want to change like let's say we have a lot of code and it calls the first name and you didn't put it in a variable and now you want to do last name first and first name last you're gonna have to go here and copy this and you know move move last name to where the first name is and the first name where the last name is but if you have a variable where later on you're just using full name we can go ahead and just use this everywhere and only have to edit it once so this is called uh, dry which is which means uh, don't repeat yourself um, so if we can avoid repeating our code um, our main functional code um, it's the best like that's the way to keep everything most optimized and it works like if you had other files that were included now I don't want to confuse you or complicate things here but let's say this variable existed somewhere else in other in other um, code pages that you might have made or something like that scripting pages you would only have to change the full name one time wherever it's defined because here's you're defining it and here you're calling it so you only have to do it one time if you do it this way versus the opposite way that I had just changed you'd have to go through every scripting page that you made or wherever you called this and have to go ahead and uh, and uh, then edit it so it's not ideal so this is what concatenating is I'm sorry this really had nothing to do with concatenating but concatenating is just putting two things together you can put two variables together now the plus sign when you're concat concatenating strings is to put them together the plus sign also works as an arithmetic mathematical addition so when you're using it with strings it's gonna add like put build together when you're using it in math, it's going to add, like, mathematically. Okay, I hope that this helps.